Hi everyone, Mike here. Earlier this week, Microsoft released a new feature to users on their Beta Insiders channel. It's called Place Picture in Cell. Simply put, it enables you to quickly and easily insert an image into a cell. Yes, I know there's already a couple of other ways that you can do this. So I'd say this is more evolutionary than revolutionary. The biggest difference between this and the image function that was added a few months back is that with the image function, the image has to come from a URL. Whereas with place picture in cell, the image is inserted from local storage. Let me show you how it works. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. The example I'm going to create is a very basic vehicle selector tool. Here we have the vehicles that the customer can select from, and here is the selector tool. The customer clicks into B2, clicks the drop down arrow, selects a color, and it brings the price across from the vehicles one sheet, but it also brings the image across. Let me choose a different one. Let me choose red. And again, you can see what's happening. So let me show you how I did it. First of all, I need the images. I'm using a Mac here, but it works exactly the same on Windows. So I just have four JPEG images. One is a blue car, one is a gray car, one is a red car, and one is a yellow car. And those are the images that I want to bring into Excel. So I'll start by going to the sheet called Vehicles 2 and selecting C2 to C5, because those are the cells that I want to bring the images into. Clicking on the Insert tab on the ribbon, click on Pictures, click on Place in Cell and Picture from File. Now, what is important is the order that I select the images, because the order I select them is the order that they will be inserted into the cells. So I'll start by clicking on the file called Yellow Car, and then I'll hold the Command key down. If you're using Windows, it's the Control key. And keeping it held down, I'll click Gray Car, Blue Car, and Red Car. So those are the four files, and click on Insert and it adds those files into those cells, one per cell, in the order I selected. There is no formula that links back to the file. It just puts the word picture into the formula bar. What I can do is I can format those cells. So I will select the cells in column C and I will align them to the center. What I can also do is apply cell formatting. So select C2 and change the background color to yellow. Select C3, and change the background color to a gray. Select C4 and choose a blue, not quite the right shades, but never mind. you get the idea and change that one to a red. So that's setting up the source data for my selector. I'll now go to the sheet called selector 2. And to save time, I've already set up some formats. So I've set the right font size up. I've set the borders around the cells. I've even set the X lookup formulas up in B4 and B6. Uh, and that way we can just focus here on the drop down and the images. So I'll go to B2. And to set up the drop down, I'll go to data, data validation. And for the allow, I'll select list. The source for the list is going to be the Vehicles 2 sheet. Now, what would be nice is if I could select the cells with the images in, and then it actually displays the images in the dropdown, but that doesn't work. So what I'll need to do is go back to data validation and set the validation up to be the cells with the colors in. And then, what that will do is that will give me the actual colors. So I'll choose a color and using the X lookups that, as I said, I've already put into B4 and B6, it brings across the correct price and the correct image. What I do need to do is just make row six taller and that will make the image bigger. So there we are, a new way to insert images into cells. 
even if you are on the beta channel, you might not have this feature in your copy of Excel. Microsoft seemed to make new features available to only a percentage of those on the beta channel, not everyone on the beta channel. It's random as to whether you are in the haves or have nots. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Did you know I have a free newsletter and you can have it delivered straight to your inbox? Sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.